Now I realize it is only February, but I seen more reclubs in January of 2023 than I can ever remember. So just to recap, we've seen new releases this year from Titleist, Srixen, Mizuno, TaylorMade, Ping, Cobra. I've probably forgot a few, but everyone has released new clubs. New full lineups, that is. So that is roughly 50 new golf clubs that have hit the shelves. And I thought I would try and narrow it down a bit and give you my top five of those so far. But before I go to tell you what my top five is, what are your thoughts right now on the sort of price point which has become incredibly high this year at a time when disposable income is at its lowest? Will you be looking at any of these 50 new releases to consider putting in your bag this year? And please do comment down below and give me that feedback because I can guarantee you that all the major brands will be reading those comments and gauging your feedback. But shoving price to one side for a second, the question is, are there any products that stand out in those releases from that 2023 lineup? And the answer is yes but my top five might contain the odd surprise. And I'm gonna kick things off with a product that I've only just reviewed on the channel in the last few days. It was a real surprise to me, and it could well be my new iron of 2023. If you watch the channel regular, you'll know that this club in hand is in fact from Srixen, and it's not just one of their irons, it's their whole lineup, the ZX7, ZX5, and quite possibly to include the ZX4. And that was in fact the ZX5, which is the product that very much sits in the middle. So the ZX7 is forged, that's more the player's club, it's almost like blade, like ZX5, medium in profile, still forged. And then that ZX4 is a forged face hollow body dying. Why do these appear in my top five of 2023 so far? Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore, bringing you the hottest deals in golf. And of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. So I mentioned the different types of iron that are within that ZX range. I think that's the big appeal to me. The improvement in the ZX4s was significant and probably the biggest leap forward. ZX7 and ZX5s are just good, proper forged irons and that ZX5 has got some forgiveness in it. So it's for the player that wants to play that blade, wants forged feel, but also wants forgiveness. But I love the improvements in ZX4 because they're a bit bulkier again. They're a hollow body iron and for that long iron in the bag, perfect. But then go down to that short end and you'll see from this position I'm stood in now, the ZX5 has still got plenty of finesse about them for that little short game that you want as well. So yeah, super impressed with the Strixon lineup this year. Now next up is a, well, a full lineup again, really from Ping, it is their G430. And in particular, their fairways and hybrid lineup because quite honestly I could pick any of these it really does depend on the yardage that you're looking to cover in your bag but again why is it that I think these are so impressive well it starts off with the sound and feel that Ping have managed to overcome from the G425 and previous lineups it was really a bit hard on the ears for me and they've made a significant leap forward in that respect but it's also the way these things look. They're superb in terms of their finish, in my opinion. I'm a huge, huge fan of this matte crown that Ping have continued with, and it's right throughout the lineup. You then look at both the hybrids, and in particular the fairway woods, they're very, very shallow. And it's something for me that is very appealing on the eye at the address position. And I think, for me at least, encourages the fact that I feel like I'm gonna pick the ball up off a tight lie as well as being able to play it from the tee but the one thing that ping really excelled on with this lineup is forgiveness and it's in abundance i have never played a lineup of clubs that has literally got one thing as being their main focus and like i say that being a concentration on forgiveness above all and i say forgiveness but i also have never seen balls launch so easily and that's right throughout the range i'm using a seven wood right now on the course a real good versatile club for the bag of many average golfers and one that I've been an advocate of for the last year or so. But Ping just does it really, really well. Like I said, it's hard to hit this type of club too poorly. And when you consider sort of iron equivalents, then they've really got me questioning what I really want to put in my bag. So the Ping G430 lineup fairways and hybrids for me 
have been without doubt very much standout products of 2023 so far. So this top five list of mine, it's not necessarily about the best products of 2023. It's about what I think has been perhaps the most innovative, the ones that are most interesting in terms of average golfers. And this next club I'm about to introduce you certainly falls within that category. It is in fact another fairway wood, this time from Taylor Made, but it's certainly not their standard product and certainly very different than anything I've seen from Taylor Made in the past. And once again, it comes from this new HD lineup. They have introduced a three, a five and a seven wood into this HD lineup. And that HD is a little bigger in terms of profile to say the least. It's a more squatted, slimmed down version, if you like, of their standard product, very elongated in the crown. It oozes confidence and address, which is the first thing, and it's the first three wood that I have considered putting in the bag for quite some time. And because of a number of reasons, and the first one being is just that ball flight is ridiculously high launching. And when I say high launching, I mean easy to get airborne. We've got an extra degree of loft than standard. So this is 16 in the three wood and it helps massively in terms of where that CG placement is as well. Because every one of these three, five and seven launches the ball very, very different than those standard lineup in the tailor-made range. Right, so next up, I'm going to look at another set of irons, but very, very different than that that we've seen from Strixon. These are from Taylor Made. They are their HD model. And whilst I first seen these, they are very, very different than anything I've seen from Taylor Made. We have seen other similar clubs on the market already. But there's one thing about this Taylor Made HD lineup that I think is particularly interesting. And that is the fact that Taylor Made have done something really interesting. They've made a club that is perhaps not the most fashionable, let's say. Some people might also frown at this style of club but I think they've made them look really cool in a way, but also they've done something that I've not found in others, and that's made them sound and feel very different than what I was expecting. And just that looks element for me is really interesting. First of all, they fit seamlessly into the standard stealth irons in case you wanted a blended set. So visually very, very similar indeed in your bag. And that option of mixing these two short end being the standard stealth HD lineup in maybe the seven, six and five irons perhaps. But I just think, like I said, it's a real different look. One that has particularly grown on me, but perhaps grown on me because of how many times I've used them and how many times I've been impressed with their performance. So super wide sole, very short and stubby, not much height in terms of the club face, look very, very odd indeed and not what we're used to, but they perform incredibly well. So we stood in the very same position earlier on that you see me play the ZX5 with a little pitching wedge. Well, one thing that interests me is that you would doubt the feel that you could perhaps and the sort of playability, if you like, in that short game. So I've got a nine iron of this chunky iron and I just see the shot that I play here that uh, I don't know how it did not go in the hole. But the point was that these have still got um, plenty of feel in and around that short game. So for me, They've got the help and assistance that you want in that long game area. But if you do want to play these right through the bag, then don't for one minute think that all of a sudden because of the bulk and mass that it doesn't give you some kind of short game, some kind of feel, everything that resonates back in the hands. They've managed to do that with the Stealth HD lineup. And that's why they're in my sort of most impressive list of releases in 2023 so far. So I go back to that description that I just gave you earlier as to where this top five comes from. Well, it's the HD lineup from Taylor Made is the epitome of it, really, because if I was to stick the new sort of Stealth 2 Fairway Woods, the standard or the plus models into this range, then it'd be nothing different than we've seen before. Very much the things that are in this list are things that have changed. They've evolved. They've made better they've made easier to use. So for me, that's why these products are all granted their position in the top five, what I think are the best releases so far in 2023. And we've got one more to go. Now, my final product isn't an iron, sit down ball. It's not a fairway wood. It's not a wedge, it's not a putter. So that must mean 
it's a driver. But it is in fact another product from Ping. It's from that G430 lineup, so we all know what that means, but it is their Max driver. And there's very good reason as to why it is in my top five of 2023. But the odd thing is, as good as this driver is, and for every reason that it is in my top five of 2023, it still might not make it into my own bag. And that's probably because I, like many golfers, are chasing one thing with driver, and that's generally distance. And whilst this club is long, it's not the longest driver I've tested, but it is without doubt the most forgiving. The fact is, I have literally failed to miss a fairway with the Ping G430 driver so far. In all the tests I've done, in all the on-course tests I've done, it has performed so, so consistently and launches the ball incredibly high. But what's noticeable, and from the dry ball data I collected from the indoor testing, is the spin number isn't too high. So there's a decent combination of high launch and acceptable spin number, Carry, that carry distance isn't impacted on. So yes, it's not the longest driver, but it's got a great set of numbers across the board. And the type of help and forgiveness is packed into this thing is certainly the bit that sticks out for me and why it is the most interesting driver, in my opinion, that's been released so far in 2023. So that's it, my top five products of 2023 so far. But I don't think we're gonna see a great deal more released, or at least I can't imagine we can, because like I said, we have had literally every major brand released. I didn't mention Wilson earlier on, who have also got a lineup out. So I think personally, the improvements we've seen this year have been in the type of products that you've seen in this video. So hybrid and fairway would a significant change. And then the driver at the end there for me is just all about forgiveness and playability for average golfers. And for me, it's the most user-friendly driver that I have tried for the masses, let's say. But I think if you're looking for forgiveness as being your number one priority and playability and enjoyment from the game, then for me, try some of these products that you've seen in today's video, because I certainly think that all of the five of them will give you all those things, tick all those boxes. Right, now a lot of those products you will have perhaps even tested yourself by now. So what I'd really like to see is some comments down below from yourselves let me know your thoughts either agree with or perhaps not of the comments that i've made during this video because uh, after all this is just one person's opinion and i'd love the feedback from the masses so get a conversation going down below don't forget all the products you've seen in today's video can be purchased from our partner at hot golf so make sure you go and check them out as well that would be greatly appreciated as ever thank you for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow night